It's oh. Rob Joss production. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Rob Jots, and the Celtics have finally made it to the finals. Their first finals appearance since 2010 and they defeated the Miami Heat in seven games and what a roller coaster of a game that was. Um, I mean, in the beginning, uh, the Celtics were pushing the pace, um, getting up and down the floor, just scoring at ease pretty much and the Heat were having trouble trying to kind of catch up but then, you know, Jimmy Butler started getting aggressive, uh, starting getting to the free throw line, looking for a shot and they were able to um, basically uh, cut the lead um, that the Celtics had. This game was, uh, it was it was such a roller coaster of a game because the Celtics would build up a lead and then the Miami Heat would respond and get in within like four or five or so. Um, and then Celtics would call a timeout, but I gotta congratulate the Celtics. Every time the Heat would um, cut the deficit, the, the Celtics would respond and try to build up a 10 point lead. And that happened like five, what like five times throughout the game and it was just kind of up and down and up and down like I during the game I was I was very serious I, I couldn't really get too happy too excited about any moment particularly um, because I just didn't know what was gonna happen the Celtics seemed to like build up a nice lead and then they would just lose it um, and like kind of kill the momentum in the second half the Celtics weren't really pushing the pace as much um, and then that created the heat to get set in their half court defense and that's when you would see like doubles from um they would double tatum and you know force him to pass the ball out um and that's why he wasn't he wasn't really too aggressive looking for a shot he was just being double just being um being trapped a lot but yeah in that fourth quarter um i believe we were up by like 11 or 12 in the in the fourth quarter with a couple minutes left two or three minutes left and then all of a sudden the Miami Heat, they just go on a run and it's a two point game. And I, I can't believe this. And you know, Marcus Smart throughout that time, he just misses like four straight threes. And I'm like, man, I'm like, I'm like, nah, you know, when he's putting it up, I'm like, nah, he can't miss another one, right? But he does and I'm like, oh, this is gonna happen again. Um, you know, like I was saying before, the Celtics were able to respond after the Heat went on runs and I'm like, this is the one that they're probably gonna blow because like it's the end of the game the momentum we're only up by two and you know jimmy butler's bringing up the ball got al ho for backpedaling um jimmy butler shoots a shot and i'm like that's in they're gonna win um but he he misses it short and um we were able to escape but that was just a crazy game it just it just had me nervous um throughout that game but we we were able to close it out. Um, we got the win. It wasn't pretty. Definitely was not pretty, but we got the win. And also a big congratulations to Jason Tatum winning the Larry Bird Eastern Conference Finals MVP trophy. Um, it's only fitting that it, they give it to a Celtic player. So uh, congrats to Jason Tatum. He played well throughout the series. You know, I got to give credit to the Miami Heat. They were banged up. I mean, we were banged up too. Uh, just basically two banged up teams, you know, throughout the whole series. Tyler Hero, he appeared in the game, didn't really um, uh, play in the second half. P.J. Tucker, I didn't really see him in the second half either. Duncan Robinson didn't really play this series. Um, but yeah, Jimmy Butler and Bam, when they were aggressive, they they were at their best, honestly. But I gotta give credit to the Heat. They, they, they fought hard. Man, the Celtics, uh, what a year this has been. Um, I remember... When uh, me and Serge did our vlog um, earlier this fall, um, the Celtics were playing the Lakers and we, we beat them, um, but we had a losing record and we were just really bad and really inconsistent. Talking to all the Celtics fans, see you in the final. <laughs> Fast forward now and what we've done, we, we're a lot better defensively, we pass the ball more, we trust each other more, you know, we're just, just a lot better team and um, it's shown. It's shown. But yeah, we've, we've come a long way, and I'm excited to be in the finals this year. Um, we're going against the Golden State Warriors, who have what, been in the finals the last, well, the six of the last eight years. Um, so Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond, that's gonna be, it's gonna be a hard challenge, but I will see if the Celtics are, are up for it. The Celtics finally did it. I'm proud of them. I'm proud of Tatum and Brown and Smart and Horford finally getting over the hump. Um, they've been to a few Eastern Conference Finals, but never were able to reach the finals. 
So they finally broke through. We can stop the uh, speculation of trading Jalen Brown or Tatum. The duo can work. I was, I was, I was always supportive of, of of them. I knew that as a duo they could do better. From like January on, pretty much of this year, they've shown that when they're at when they're both efficient, passing the ball, taking great shots, they're a hard team to beat. But yeah, they they did their thing, and um, we'll see them in the finals. So. It's all about 18, baby. Also, can we get uh, NBC Sports to get like the players to try and recreate It's All About 18, that promo, that hype video that, um, you know, KG, Paul Pierce, that they did back in the day, Glenn Davis, Shaq, Rayon. Um, can we just get that, like kind of recreate that? Um, it's just me that wants that, but could just recreate that for me. Um, I would love that, would appreciate that, but it's all about 18.